If you clicked on this video, it's likely because you want to have a better understanding of what dilution control is and why it's important. So let me explain. Dilution control is when you take a highly concentrated chemical product and dilute it with water to create a ready-to-go product. All types of highly concentrated chemicals, including disinfectants and cleaners, need to be diluted. Chemicals are diluted one of two ways, either by hand or by use of an automated dilution control system. One of the main reasons you'd want to use an automated dilution control system is to prevent staff from improperly diluting solutions. When chemical dilution is performed improperly, it's either over or under diluted. Either of these options can lead to poor cleaning results, wasted time and resources, and even unsafe working conditions. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Why is dilution control important? Why should you care about whether a solution is over or under diluted? In this video, we'll go over everything related to dilution control so that you can better understand why it's such an important part of safe and effective chemical management. So what do I mean when I say over or under diluting a solution? Over diluting means that too much water is introduced to the concentrated chemical, while under diluting means not enough water is introduced. It's more cost effective to purchase chemicals in concentrated forms, but many chemicals are harmful when highly concentrated, so they need to be properly diluted with water. This is especially true for disinfectants and sanitizers. Under diluting a disinfectant or sanitizer can negate the efficacy of the product, meaning the solution can't effectively kill germs and disinfect or sanitize a surface. The best way to avoid improperly diluting chemical solution is to follow the manufacturer's instructions on the product label. Almost every cleaning chemical has instructions on the product or package that will inform the user on how to dilute it properly. If there aren't any instructions on the label, you can find them on the manufacturer's website or SDS. Following the manufacturer's instructions means the risk of over or under dilution is greatly reduced. If you want to eliminate that risk altogether, you can invest in an automated dilution control system. Automated dilution control systems are commonly installed in or near the chemical storage area. That way the cleaning staff can easily acquire the necessary chemicals and have the solution properly diluted without needing to move chemicals. It works by having an employee connect a bottle or bottles of concentrated chemicals to the automated dilution control system by a tube. Then the employee selects which chemical they want for their cleaning solution and the system will automatically dispense the necessary amount of chemical and water into an empty spray bottle. By automating the chemical dilution process, you effectively remove the possibility of incorrect dilution ratios. Now that we have a better understanding of dilution control, let's cover why under-diluted chemical solutions can be risky. For starters, it makes for ineffective cleaning. Solution with highly concentrated active ingredients leads to ineffective cleaning because the excess chemicals may leave behind a residue that attracts dirt and grime, making surfaces appear dirtier even after you clean them. You also notice cleaning staff taking more time and effort to complete a task. To achieve the desired level of cleanliness, the cleaning staff has to put more time and effort into cleaning. This inefficiency can be costly in terms of product waste and labor expenses. Despite the extra time and effort put into cleaning, results can still be underwhelming. Poor cleaning can lead to dissatisfaction for people in the facility and can even harm your facility's reputation. Worse than that though, using an over-concentrated solution can damage surfaces. The active ingredients in the chemical solution can be harsh on whatever surface is being cleaned, potentially leading to corrosion and discoloration. The last risk of using under-diluted cleaner may be the most serious. Under-diluted solutions can pose serious health risks to cleaning staff and building occupancy. How? Inhaling or coming into direct contact with concentrated chemicals can lead to respiratory problems, skin irritation, and other health problems. But if using an under-diluted solution is so bad, wouldn't it be better to use an over-diluted solution? Well, no, because both are wrong and have their own set of risks. So let's look at three reasons why using over-diluted cleaner poses significant risks. Much like with the under-diluted cleaner, over-diluted cleaner also suffers from reduced effectiveness. When the cleaning solution is under-diluted, it's too weak to effectively remove dirt, stains, and germs. This compromises the quality of cleaning and can lead to unsatisfactory work. You also have to worry about wasted time and resources because the cleaning staff may not have effectively cleaned the surface on the first attempt. It can require a second or multiple cleanings 
wasting both time and cleaning products. An over-diluted solution can also leave a soil residue on surfaces, creating slippery floors, which poses a significant safety risk, increasing the likelihood of accidents and injuries for cleaning staff and building occupants. We hope you found this video educational. If you're interested in getting an automated dilution control system in your facility, or wanna learn more about the importance of dilution control, please reach out to an Imperial Dade facility near you. You can set up a free consultation with one of our cleaning chemical specialists who will answer any remaining questions you have about dilution control. They'll even perform an on-site or virtual evaluation of your facility for free, identifying areas of improvement in your chemical management system. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below.